Good afternoon and welcome back. I'm going to talk to you today about another couple of raw objects I made when I was a reenactor and trying to explore the kind of things our ancestors back in use back in the early Middle Ages. And this time it's all about writing, it's not musical instruments. Now books were extremely expensive items. I mean there's a story from the 11th century that uh, one of the princes in the part of Germany that is now Switzerland um, gave the profits of a whole town away to a monastery in order, you know, for a copy of the Bible. Now, uh, what can you say about that? It's, you know, these, it's looking at that, the prices of books are not an exact science, but they are very, very expensive. And all the expense that goes into making a book is actually on the materials the books are made of. They're on the parchment, the writing materials. I mean, parchment is made from the skins of sheep. Um, it has to be specially prepared, obviously, in a process akin to tanning. And so when you think that, say, a book could, can consist of hundreds of pages, that you know, a one hide of a sheep will or we'll make a page that adds up to several flocks of sheep, and that's just the and, the, and that's just the paper, you know, the parchment that's actually being used for writing. You then have to prepare the ink from oak galls. There's also for the more lavishly illustrated books the question of the expense of some of the paints being used. I mean, when you look at these richly illustrated manuscripts. They use real gold for the gold point, her paint. The blue comes from lapis lazuli, which is immensely expensive because the only place it came from was Afghanistan. And so you had colossally expensive items. Um, now, the actual amount, the actual wages on the scribes who wrote them actually wasn't actually wasn't that particularly good. I mean, in the 14th century, a uh, scribe, the, the wage for a scribe per day was exactly the same as a, for, as a soldier fighting on the, uh, in the Scottish Wars of Edward, the, Edward III, yes. So, they're immensely expensive things and also highly necessary. So, what did our ancestors do about this? Well, one of the things the monks did was they made notebooks. According to the Benedictine rule, every monk had to carry an Enchiridion with him. Enchiridions are notebooks and they were there so that you had something to hand if you went out on another, if you went out, let's say, or to another monastery or another church, uh, church meeting and something important had to be written down or you saw something in one of their books which you couldn't borrow you had to write down. Now, this is my attempt to recreate an Anglo-Saxon Enchiridion. It's made, you know, the, it's covered in leather, it's bound in wood with the cloth inside, which is as books are bound now, and I managed to get hold of some parchment. So there you go. That's the, you know that's what parchment looks like. There are still places that you know, there is one place that does it, and this is the type of script the Anglo-Saxons used. It's Winchester script, as you can imagine. I uh, copied a few texts, Anglo-Saxon texts, from some of the books you you, know, you can see around here on Anglo-Saxon. There it is, see? And in the back, I also put this illustration of a little Anglo Saxon key. In so using some drawing ink, which I hoped will reproduce the type of colours. It doesn't quite. And as you might expect, um, and as you might expect, I also included biblical text. Uh, such as Matthew chapter 6. Behold, that 
that Rothrear, oh I, can, I can't read it, but you get the sense. And that's my attempt to reproduce an Anglo-Saxon in Caridian. In addition to those, they also had wax writing tablets, which I also tried to make. This is my example. In actual fact, this, as you can see, my example is quite small. If you look at some of the proper examples, they're huge. I mean, they're, they're, they're about so big. And they were made in two pieces. And inside, the inner piece was hollowed out and filled with wax. And you wrote on, you noted whatever you want down on this covering of wax. It's a very, very ancient writing aid. It goes all the way back. It goes all the way back to the Bronze Age, um, and for all I know, probably before that, um, there was a ship recently recovered from the bottom of the Mediterranean just off Turkey I believe and it was a Bronze Age merchantman you know, taking goods from uh, the, you know, the states around there, you know, around in that part of the world then um, possibly, you know, possibly taking it to and from Cyprus or Syria or somewhere you know, somewhere like that I mean these these states are really immensely ancient and along with a rusted piece of bronze which are being traded and amphora or wine there was one of these with I think the ship's manifest written down what the cargo was which shows that it doesn't matter how far back you go bureaucracy has always been with us thank you for listening